Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm starting the vlog after just finishing my dream workout routine video. So I'm gonna put this away. I'm going to hang out with one of my friends today in this place called like Baldwin Park. It is very similar to Celebration and I've only been there like a couple times to be honest and she's gonna give me like a tour so hopefully you guys will enjoy that i'm gonna eat though i'm thinking i'm gonna have a salad i'm not sure but just want to start a new video because always got to get content <laughs> because it's hard especially when i'm like you know at work can't obviously film a lot and it would be like super boring. So I just wanted to jump start this and I'm going to finish listening to this podcast. Have some lunch. I'm going to get ready. Maybe do a little chit chat. Get ready. Not like, again, I don't want it to be like the entire video. So, but I'll do a little get ready with me light edition or something like that. The lunch is ready and now I'm going to devour it. Okay, so I just showered and blow dried the hair and I dried it a little bit different. Like I dried it so all my hair was like in front of my face like this and then I parted it in the middle. And the reason why is because I like the hair to be like laying down in the front like this rather than have it be like wide like that. I don't know, but I just wanted to try a different technique and I think it worked. Um, I don't know if, sorry. I don't know if it'll hold, like stay laying down in the front because I'm gonna have to put it back when I do my makeup and stuff. So I don't know how it's gonna play out because I'm gonna put my hair clips like here to hold my hair back. So it might just be for this little moment that my hair is like this, but I'm gonna see how it holds up. If not, it's fine. It's not the end of the world, but I think also too, I'm gonna try with my straightener like after because I plan on like curling my hair because I like it curled, especially when it's like clean and everything. It's so nice. But I'm going to take my straightener and like straighten it down like this. So hopefully that'll help in the end as well. So we'll see. I don't know. I like trying different things and seeing how they work out. Okay, got my face pretty much done, but I need to do like the brow gel and the eyes and the lips, obviously. But I just wanted to get started because it takes me forever to do like foundation and stuff. So um, I was plucking my eyebrows and okay, there was still like some eyebrow on my cheek. I wanted to answer like a question that I got not too long ago and the person asked like why do I do makeup like this um, because I typically like I never wore makeup for the longest time and um, I still am not like, okay, I'm a, I'm a fan of makeup because I love doing it. I love the process. It's just really relaxing. But the main reason why I didn't like makeup was because I found it uncomfortable. Uh, but I found this foundation. It's very light. And um, this is what like Sierra Furtado uses. And it's really light and it doesn't have like strong odor. And I know that sounds weird, but I don't like strong scents when it comes to makeup because I don't know, I guess you would know this if you wear makeup, but like there's this like makeup-y smell and I hate that smell. And I would always smell it cause I would sweat in makeup a lot when I danced and everything. So I couldn't stand the smell. And this does have the makeup smell just a tiny bit, but it's not as strong. So I find it to be really good. Um, it's like stuff that I can tolerate. And I just really love the way Sierra does her makeup. I don't know why, but it's just one of those things. So I like just kind of got inspired by Sierra's makeup looks and everything like that. And I don't know. I just was like, okay, might as well give it a try. And I think I got my dislike from makeup from dancing for so long. I hated sweating in makeup and having to wear it for dance and that's the reason why I just decided to not like makeup. So that's the answer. I hope that like that kind of answers it. I don't know. I just like, I do like the way I look in it now. Um, I, when I was like dancing and stuff, I don't know if I like actually liked it, but now I've like gotten control over it and now my mom doesn't do my makeup, you know? So it's just like a little bit better because I have like more control and 
I can make the makeup look natural, more neutral tones and not like total like glam. I don't know if that makes any sense. I've gotten more confident with my makeup skills and again I just kind of got inspired by Sierra and like the way she does her makeup so I just wanted to try it and see if I liked it and I've always loved like I said the process of putting on makeup it's just the feeling you have when it's on I just don't really like eyeshadow still kind of dries out my eyes but I try to not put like so much on I don't know I just have become a little I guess different I don't know I don't know if that makes any sense. I've gotten different interests a little bit. Like I just ordered two new books. So that's exciting. I've gotten like more into reading and I don't know. I just have gotten different interests and I guess makeup is one of them. I can't bring myself to like buying makeup because it's expensive. So I don't think I can ever have a whole bunch of makeup palettes and stuff. I don't think that's in the cards for me. So I'm not gonna be like a makeup collector, but um, just like wearing it, and I do the same look every time. So it's not like, oh, I'm gonna do like this look today because all my looks literally look the same. So uh, nothing really changes, but that's okay. I find that I have, if I have like too many options, I get overwhelmed and I'm just like, I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> like, does this look good? I don't know, but I just do a look that I know I look good in and that I feel confident in because I never want to feel like a clown. Like sometimes when I wore makeup, like I just felt like an utter clown and I didn't like it. So hope that answers your question and um, I'm just going to finish up doing this and I'll move on with the video because I'm gonna do my hair. I have some time, so we're doing good on time and everything. I don't know, I just find this to be so relaxing to like listen to videos or podcasts and just like do my makeup and hair is just so relaxing. I don't know, just kinda like one of those things. I can't describe it. <laughs> Okay, so hair and makeup is done. Again, I love getting ready. It's just so relaxing. And then I like taking pictures afterwards because narcissists, I'm just kidding. But I mean, maybe. I feel like every, I feel like if you do YouTube, social media or anything, you have a little bit of that in you, like no matter who you are. But anyway, I want to show you guys my outfit. I'm going black and white today. TMI, my underwear is also black. So like everything matches. This is the fit. I think we're gonna go to Dunkin'. I wanna try this drink that It's Our Life tried, or Kendall and Evie, if you watch your videos, I don't know. But I wanna try this because I've not had like a good experience with Dunkin' and I just wanna try it. And if they like it, then maybe it's good. I don't know. I'm giving Dunkin' like one last try and then I'll probably just get on the road then. Okay, so I'm gonna try another It's Our Life uh, Kendall Evie drink. And this is a iced coffee with caramel swirl, liquid cane sugar, and cream. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but we're gonna try and see. It's kind of lighter than what it looked like on the camera. So I don't know. I've never had a good experience with Dunkin', so let's give this a try. Mmm. That is not bad, wow. If you guys aren't a fan of coffee, but you still like a little bit of coffee, this is a good thing to have. I actually found something that I like at Dunkin'. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, so that's actually like a hit and not a miss. I am very happy with this. So good. I can't complain. I feel like Dunkin's coffee is just too sweet overall. Um, I guess I'm just used to Starbucks's like richness flavor. So overall, 
that's actually really good. And if I want to go to Dunkin' now, I know what to order. This is pretty good. Okay, so sorry, the lighting's kind of weird because we're in a parking garage. But with Marika, hey, and she's gonna just show me around Baldwin Park. I think my other friend's gonna meet up with us for dinner sometime. I don't know really, but that'll be fun just to like hang around and see Baldwin Park. And I got to see her apartment, which is really nice. The guest bathroom is like huge, guys. It looks like he could be in his own room. We got Lincoln in the back here. He's a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll vlog him when we have better lighting because it's a little dark right now. All right, so guys, here's the boxer, Lincoln. Yes, Lincoln. <laughs> what a star. Oh what a star, yes. He could have his own music video or something. But anyway. I'm um, just gonna flip the camera around to show you guys some of Baldwin Park as well because this place is like so cute It's like the miniature celebration. I've only been here one other time. So it'll be nice. So right now we're passing like the school area Look how cute that school is yeah. Baldwin Park Elementary Cute This really does look like celebration. Doesn't it? Yeah a lot of the buildings remind me of Celebration, um, but yeah, like those for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, they're like exact replicas. Yeah. So this is like the village center, Broad Street. All of the really nice houses are to the um, right, which we can go later. But then um, there's, this is the main street. Which at first is just like a bunch of offices and banks and stuff like that. But it's super cute. Can everyone hear me talk? <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, so there's a bank right there. And then right when we hit to CVS is usually when the start of Broad Street starts. So CVS is on the left. Um, this Bogote place, Max comes to you to get his hair cut, which is super cute. Um, and then we have like, people live on top of the restaurants too. So there's Frosty Fox just opened. It's like a matcha boba place. It's so good inside. That sounds cool. Yeah, I'm mean, sorry. I don't know if this kid's like trying to cross the street right now. <laughs> um, there's Tudo Cafe, which they have wine. Ooh, we'll um, have to go there tonight. Yeah, at 45, a gym. There's Do you like that place? place and oh, place right across the street. Well, that's convenient. Isn't that? <laughs> Victoria Drillers. Um, provisions and Buzz is like a steakhouse y feel. Cool. Um, so they have really good brunch too, omelets and stuff. Awesome. And then there's like a little shenanigan shop right here too with the black and white. Tactical? Yes. Tactical Brewing is a really good brewing place. Um, the pizza yeah. place, Bella Luna, is right there really good pizza. Osprey and Saito are sister restaurants, so it's the same owner. This is like more fish food, like fish tavern, and this is all sushi, which is really nice. Ooh, cool. We have yeah. a sushi place too. Mm -hmm. It's cool that their sister restaurants are always so busy, and then there's like a hair salon, nail salon in style. Have you gotten your day. nails done there? No, but I get my hair done there. Oh, okay. There's a rolled ice cream place. Rolled ice cream? What is that? Like where they put milk and scrape it. It's like cool. little rolled um, things. There's gators, like a bar, sports bar kind of feel. Very cool. And then let's see, and then this is like the loop around the lake. There's a Mexican place right here. And that restaurant with the red shut down, so I think they're trying to like fill. So this is a street called Upper Union Park and they just have really pretty houses here. I couldn't wait to see all of the houses in Baldwin just because they are so similar to the ones in Celebration. Wow. They're so nice. These are huge. Mm -hmm. Look at those doors. Look, that one has like a tower. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, it always makes me want to know, like, what do they do to be able to so, afford that? I'm about to start a TikTok channel that's like knocking on every single person's door. What and do you asking, do for a living? yeah, you totally How do you should. Afford to live here? Yeah. <laughs> asking for a friend. Wait, so is this your favorite one? No, my favorite one's over there. I'll oh, go okay. Around the loop, loop, but they're building one right here. This like looks so homey and almost Colorado warm. Yeah, it is so field. cute. Yeah. And then this one's like more modern castle. -like. Modern castle, yes. Like, that looks like something you would see in Golden Oak, probably. First time trying sake. Cheers. Are you supposed to drink it like this? Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Of course. And then if you're ever in a pickle, the front of our menu has a protein Good. Oh, got it. So I just got a California roll with some rice. Okay, they're making mine. I got cookies and cream. Okay, so this is what mine looks like. I got the cookies and cream, like I said. It's adorable. We're at this I-C-E-N-Y and they roll up ice cream like this. So I'm just gonna dig in and enjoy.